So these are uh, ASOS's brand new uh, Mile or Mill GTO collection. Uh, so it's basically taking the place of a couple different uh, versions of their bibs. So I don't know if ASOS is kind of changing up how they're naming their lines, but uh, I think what they're trying to do is kind of set this up into kind of like race gear as well as endurance or longevity gear. So this guy uh, is kind of the manalgamation man of their uh, Cento and their Campionissimo bib shorts. So it's kind of got the, the most plush and responsive and breathable ASOS insert to date. Uh, wrapped in a bunch of new, you know, frictionless paneling, whatever you want to call it. And then what they do with this guy is they've got two separate lengths, one being uh, short or standard and the other being plus three centimeters. So as is customary, I like to kind of show some of the sides here. So as you can see, this is the long version. I am six foot three. So uh, I am a little bit taller. So I have gone with that sponsor yourself. That's their tagline, which is always cool. And then, uh, what, why, how, whatever. I'm sure that's the link to their website. So let's crack this guy open and see what's inside. Oh, there we go. We have the shorts out of the original box. Let's get that guy opened up. Really nice packaging. This is, uh, this is much better than McColl, to be honest. Nice gold wrapping paper. And then the shorts themselves, not bad for 400 bucks. I'm gonna keep these and pass them off to family as an heirloom. So off the hop, we can kind of see uh, the gold is kind of throughout. That gold logo looks really, really sharp. As, as far as I know, everything they've done has always been white. So that's a bit of a change. So I think that looks really, really cool. What, why, how, they're definitely pushing that on the box to kind of learn more about the shorts. And then the tag is kind of tucked in nicely. And on that, what do we got? Just more of kind of the same with what was on the box. Just kind of some serial numbers and uh, probably product care or something like that. Actually feels quite rubbery, Looks feels good. And then the bibs themselves. So let's get these guys out of the sleeve here and check them out. As we can see, this is a size large, as you can see on the straps. Um, the same with my other Mile GTs, they have that L on there. The strap material itself feels different. I actually have my other pair of GTs here to kind of compare. Um, it is a different material. So this guy does feel a little bit softer. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, I, don't, I, don't, I noticed that right away. And then the markings on the back because of that color, I think that looks really sharp. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll zoom in and show that. And then let's look at some of the other things on the bibs themselves. So we have on the front of them, obviously, we have the wasteless, as they say, uh, design. So what that essentially is, is it means there's no band that's going around the front of the waist. So you're not cutting off any of your circulation. As well, one thing I noticed right away is the material on the front. So as you can see on the front here, it's, uh, it's kind of ruffled. It's got all kinds of uh, different folds in the fabric and stitching. So uh, I shouldn't say stitching, but folds in the fabric. So I'm, I'm assuming that makes it so it's more comfortable instead of just being a solid panel. So these are all the little things that kind of add up to that additional price tag compared to the Mile GT. On the underside of the, uh, the bibs themselves, we've got some really good uh, seamless stitching. Uh, towards the back and sides, uh, really quality as uh, as is expected from uh, ASOS at this point. And then we've got that uh, gold logo, which looks really awesome. I apologize, the lighting makes them the the bibs look a little yellow right now, but it's actually a dark black, and that's a nice uh, that's a really really nice color on that ASOS logo. My goodness, that looks sharp. The straps themselves are held in at two places on the back of the bib, which I think makes a lot of sense. You've got the bottom portion here, as well as the top portion. Now this might not be a, a big thing. This might not be a big thing, but it just adds to comfort with the stretch being there rather than up here. So that makes uh, good sense. And then beneath the straps on the back, we've got that, uh, once again, another gold ASOS logo, which looks really, really great. Um, just kind of goes towards the whole theme, looks really sharp. So here's an overview of the chamois with it turned inside out. We have the same kind of setup with the uh, 
the Mile GT in that the sides aren't um, stitched down, which adds to comfort so that it has the ability to move with your seat and provide that comfort. And then in the front, this guy here, which kind of wraps your situation up, um, really, really soft and comfortable. It's not padded as the whole entire thing. I believe these guys are size specific. So uh, good ventilation as well. So you're looking at uh, awesome comfort. Now the bib itself compared to the standard uh, Mill GTs, which I have here, are different. So here's this guy, and mind you, this one's been used, but you can kind of see the pattern is uh, very different. So this is the Mill GT Summer C2, and then this is the, uh, the new GTO. So more folding, um, I would argue it's a little thicker as well. First noticeable one that I see here is the size of the ventilation on the new ones are much bigger than the small ones on here. Um, the wrap on the front is definitely a little bit less on these guys. So there's gotta be a reason for that. Obviously the top half of the pad looks very similar uh, in that it has that cut out in the front, but obviously the back is more flexible and uh, likely going to be more comfortable in the variations in saddles. Um, so that makes a lot of sense. And then, like I said, it's actually a little bit uh, firmer. So it's got multi-layer density on this one with like micro shock, shock absorbers and all this kind of stuff. Read about it online. There's a whole breakdown of the bibs of the, uh, the chamois itself. But uh, from everything that I can tell, it just looks like it's going to be even... Uh, actually, I noticed right off the top, there's like a very soft foam. This one doesn't have that. Um, so all things look really solid and uh, it's going to make for a, a probably a very comfortable ride. On the inside of the legs, we can see we've got this uh, rubber grippers that are uh, solid now, you know, two inch plus, kind of, well, maybe even close to three inch that's going to be grabbing your legs. That makes a lot of sense versus on the standard Mill GTs. Here's uh, that guy. You can see it's just the bottom here with a little bit of ruffling on the top, but it's not nearly the size and uh, grip of the same. We can see that uh, in this zone here, the nice ruffling of the, uh, the material, super, super comfortable. That's gonna allow all day movements. We can see on the lines of the, uh, the grippers that they're very comfortable. You can kind of see them dimpling out. That's different than the Mill GTs. And then as well, on the butt, you can see that the strap lines, they go down to the bottom here and anchor at the top. So you got two spots. I think that's their A-frame design, which is a little bit different than the Mill GTs, which just uh, anchor on the top here. So, so overall, we've got another solid set of bibs here from ASOS, um, even more so than the standard Mill GTs. I'm uh, really, really excited to get out and try these guys out because I've been so impressed with the, uh, with the standard Mill GT Summers. Um, I am really pumped as well that the longer leg is three centimeters, which uh, for a guy like me, that's exactly what I want, is I don't want uh, to be wearing Lululemon short shorts. So I'm really pumped to get these guys out. Um, I will definitely fill you in on how I feel, but for the meantime, thanks for stopping by and checking these guys out. And if you have any questions, leave them below and I will do my best to answer them right away. Thanks guys. Talk to you later.